So I'm sitting outside at this coffee shop a couple hours ago, and a guy comes up to me and he goes, are you Rick Beato? And I said, yeah. He's like, wow, I can't believe it. I've watched a couple hundred of your videos. I said, oh, cool, cool. And I said, well, what? He sits down, we start talking. I said, well, what kind of things are you interested in? He goes, well, I really like film scoring um, and when you talk about modes. And I said, well, what do you like about it? And he says, well, you know, you'll explain something. I'll hear it, something that's, you know, in the orchestra, let's say. Let's say it's something like this. Even if it's a simple chord like that, and when I hear it voiced with strings like that, it doesn't connect what it is. But then if you change the sound, let's say I play the same thing on piano, and then I say, oh, that's just a C major seven chord, right? And it's C, G, E, B. It just demystifying things like that. I said, oh, cool. I'm actually making a video like that. Actually, that's not true. I'm making a video about things way more complex than that. But it's using the same principle. So I want to call this, let's say, sound painting or something like that. It's how to take sounds and create orchestrations around it. Very simple ones. Or how to create lines out of a chord progression, for example. Let's say I take, a, I find a chord like this, right? That's a C minor 11 chord. I'm playing C, G, then F, G, B flat, E flat. Okay, now I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna play a piece that I just composed for today. And I'm gonna talk about the kind of sounds I'm using. I, it started out as an improv, and I started out with some just basic voicings, like uh, I think the first thing I played was, which is uh, D, A, B flat and C octaves. Okay, this could be a couple different scales. Could be a D Phrygian. Could be D Aeolian. There's really not a, a complete sound there. Then I think I went to something like that, which would be more of like an E flat Lydian chord, but in inversion. And then I did maybe something like this. And then um, I think I played this. And then I went down to A flat Lydian. I'll play the piece. I'm going to put on the screen the sounds, the voicing sounds I'm playing. Now, when you're looking at them, when they flash up there, it might say A flat Lydian. If it says A flat Lydian, it means that I'm using an A flat Lydian scale to create this sound, if it's a linear sound or whatever it is. But everything within it, in the orchestration and in the lines is just that. Let's check it out.
Let me explain to you a little bit about how I'm building these melodic lines using chords, okay? So let's say we take the key of F Aeolian. F, G, A flat, B flat, C, D flat, D flat, F. Now, I believe at one point in the video I played C sus4 to A flat sus4 to F sus4 and repeated it. Those give me all the notes of F Aeolian, but they're constant structures. So I could play a line like uh, like that would be a an example of using these constant structures to create a linear idea. I'll play it slow. So I'm doing five note pattern. I'm playing F sus or C sus4, but I'm sorry F. Then I'm moving up to that D flat to the flat six. And that's how you develop these ideas. So go back look at the chord structures that are in the video while the music's playing and then experiment with them. If you have questions, put them in the comments below. And remember, please subscribe here to my Everything Music YouTube channel if you're interested in the Beato book, which has many ideas like this in it. Go to my website at www.rickbeato.com. And if you believe in this channel and want to support it, you can join the Beato Club, also on my website. Thanks for watching.